we need to talk about this. This is granite carved to perfection. It requires a diamond tip drill bit, which they did not have a thousand years ago. No, they didn't. But you know what they did have? A basic understanding of how rocks work. You don't need diamond tip drill bits to carve granite. I mean, maybe you do, but the people who carved these sculptures did not. I think this myth stemmed from a misunderstanding of the Mohs hardness scale, in which a material can't be scratched by something that's softer than it is. But hardness is not the property that determines whether or not something can be carved. Toughness is. A material's toughness measures its resistance to fracturing when subjected to shock. These properties often have an inverse relationship with each other, where something that's very hard is also very brittle, and thus has a low fracture toughness. Granite is very hard, but the iron tools that were available to the artisans at the time would have had no trouble getting through it. Now a lot of people jump to ancient aliens or some conspiracy theory. Oh, well, I'm glad you're not going to do either of those things, right? Understanding bear tech would be like trying to explain a cell phone 200 years ago. So I'm going to explain it with cymatics. If you follow me, you know that this is vibrating water on a speaker. It makes these cool patterns. But cymatics can decode everything you see. This is the Konark Sun Temple. I think you know where I'm going with this. I hope you're not implying that they used <laughs> cymatics to make that Dharma wheel. So hold on, then being able to break granite doesn't make sense to you, but melting it and vibrating it into shape does? This is exact, it's not close, it is perfect. Oh, yep, look at that, it's perfect, it's beautiful. Is this actually your idea of perfect, a Dharma wheel that barely lines up with your cymatic? Let's take a look at the pillars. That is a sound wave, that is a sound wave, that's a 3D sound wave. Our culture is obsessed with the how they did it, but we gotta look at the why they did it first. In science, we've got to be able to demonstrate a claim. Basically all you've got is a pattern-seeking brain saying that that pillar looks vaguely like a sound wave, but if all you've got is it kinda looks like it, I'm sorry, that's just not good enough. This is one of our acoustic resonators that we use today. This is a Hindu temple. This is a high-frequency oscillator. It's used to keep time in digital devices. Left is the sensor, right is the temple diagram for Angkor Wat. God, more it looks like it. Buddy, the only similarity is that the layout is concentric. God, Angkor Wat is a timekeeping device. It's a new one to me. Use your eyes to decode the manual. Discover your purpose. Granite's pretty hard to edit. That's an esoteric way to end a video. I like that. If only it wasn't preceded by, you know, the rest of it.